What's good, y'all? I am back with another, I guess, reaction video to Metroid Dread. I'm about to say Metroid Prime. All right, when's Metroid Prime for? That game banned out like three years ago. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna watch this trailer. This actually, I'm actually interested in this game. It's like only a few games I'm really interested in getting this year. This one is probably one of them because I get technically it's like a sequel to Metroid Fusion. It's sorts like that, and I'm a big fan of Metroid Fusion. But we're gonna see what it's gonna be about. It's just ga official gameplay over the trailer, so. Exploration. And dread. An unprecedented threat is closing in on Samus. Samus Ara. Metroid Dread. The most powerful bounty hunter in the galaxy, Samus Aran. Damn, yeah, shoot the ego. Okay. On her latest mission, she'd explore the inner belly of a beastly planet. So technically, this. Well, I was gonna say Nemesis system in a way, but this Detroit Fusion had that a little bit to too the with the S A X or Samus X, which holds many secrets. Beneath the planet's surface lies a massive labyrinth of distinct Damn, areas, the style of from caves Damn. to magma chambers, ancient forests, and underwater depths. At Samus's disposal, pause this game. Apparently, this has like a guess a parry system, which I got Samus Return on the 3DS. The only problem is I don't play my 3DS. <laughs> I know I bought that game. I didn't even play it when it came out, which is crazy. That's the next you know how backed up my gaming catalog is. I, I my gaming catalog is super far back. Missiles, Games I a jumping prowess, a new slide, and a brutal counter melee missile. counter, which deflects enemy attacks. That was in that that uh, the 3DS yeah. Samus continues Which technically is like a remake or something. Additional abilities. Cling to certain walls and ceilings with the spider magnet. Morph into a ball to enter narrow passages with the morph ball. Move at high speed with the flash shift. Oh, that's good. Lock on to multiple targets at once with the storm missile. With each ability <laughs> no you uncover a Samus, your right. exploratory options will expand. Eventually, the whole planet will open up and be yours to explore at will. The abilities you gain can also be used in combat against enemies, making them versatile in a number of situations. Yes. Research robots called Emmy will track down Samus and attempt to capture her. Oh, so it's more than one robot then. Their bodies are covered with tough armor that regular attacks cannot penetrate. If they capture Samus, she will meet her kill. end. Emmy hunt down Samus by detecting the sound she makes. And once one sees her, the real hunt begins. To evade the relentless, Emmy, your only option is to use Samus's abilities to avoid detection and escape. Different types of enemy with with varying enemy capabilities enemy. lie in wait across planet ZDR. Deadly unknown organisms lurk in the dark. Ruins of a long lost civilization litter the planet. And is the mysterious bird like Chozo figure ally Chozo, or enemy? What secret truths hide within planet ZDR? Beyond the mission, beyond the dread, what true terror lies in wait? Okay, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. It's been a while since I actually played like a Metroidvania style type of game, but this is Metroid. This is literally the equivalent of Metroidvania. I'll say 2D style type of game. It's been a while since I actually played a 2D style type of game. Metroid Dread. Okay. Plus, Please. a Metroid Dread special edition that includes the game, five art cards, steelbook, and art book. 
uh, the collector edition. Amiibo. Wait, they gonna show what this gonna do? Players can use compatible amiibo figures with the Metroid Dread game. Acquire an additional energy tank by tapping the Samus amiibo. What? That's cheating. Or get an additional missile plus tank by tapping the Emmy amiibo. Tap these figures again to replenish a certain amount of the resources once on that. per day. That's the easy. That's how my hand moves. Once per day. Amiibo. Ah, oh, get the easy mode crap out of here. Like I said, like it's so I'm more. I, it's been a while since I played like a two D style game. I kind of want to get back into it, so. I'm definitely interest, interested in this. It's a few games I need to play. I need to get. Just because. But yeah, Metroid Dread official gameplay trailer overview. It's funny, it actually came out the date of today, which. Yeah. But with that being said, enjoy this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, I'm getting this game while I'm streaming. I don't know yet. I hate playing. I'm going to struggle with my stream, especially puzzles. But yeah. If not, I don't, I don't do walkthroughs like that on the channel. I might just do, like, first two videos of gameplay. I, don't, I, I technically don't do, like, less places and stuff on this channel anymore. Because, like, unless people want it. Or it's a, a game I really like, I'll, I'll do it. But, like I said, it's, it's whatever y'all want to see on the channel. And reviews, and I do first impressions at the end of the day. But with that being said, y'all enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on socials. Follow me on Twitch, at Code Sounds. I think I'm beginning something, but oh well. Peace.